Okay, welcome back, people. Charlie, hello. Uh, hello. How are you this evening? I'm okay. Obsidian! Have some. Chocolate milk. It's like milk, but it's so chocolatey. Chocolate milk. So, let, let me just show the people what we... Uh, what I've done. What have you done? Well, you know I said I was going to change the hemp farm. I've done that. Yes. And I've also updated it. Oopsie. Uh, uh. I smacked you in the face. I'm sorry about that. I, I need to move the beacon. I'll tell you about that in a sec. Okay. Right, so the hemp farm. I updated it. And also, if you look on the left... Reeds. I set up reeds as well. Alright, sugarcane, the poor man's reeds. In other words. So, like Flower Child told us, I've changed it so that the Wait. lens is uh, acts as a trigger. So look, Charlie, the lens is here, and it shoots, well, shoots into this detector blocks, block. They light up. Yeah, because the lens is shooting. I'm blocking the lens light. So that's how a lens works. Yeah, it's shooting a beam of light across the top of the hemp, right? Now this detector block detects the lens, but when a hemp grows up, it blocks the light. So when the light's blocked, it triggers the uh, the block dispensers to pick up the hemp. So cool. And then the block dispensers spit the hemp out, and it usually lands in the water stream. It's not really working for this one. I've not set that up yet. I've I've just made another lens to go in there. Like a mile, bitch. Gotta be and a detector block. Excellent. Yeah. So if we come through here, put the lens there. Uh, the detector block needs to go. Oh, I could have put it on the side then. There. And then I just need to hop up. Do they all push at the same time? All of them trigger, yeah. Ah, oh, So you got redstone running along the top here. Uh, I just need this light block on the back of the lens to send the beam in. I see you have no. nicely floored up the poo factory now. Looks very dashing. Oh, I did that ages ago. Oh, I must have forgot about it. Looks very dashing. And then, yeah. So the redstone's so much simpler in this setup. I don't, I don't need to use any repeaters or anything. Yes. Uh, I just need some jack o' lanterns at the top here for the lighting. In the slag. Okay, so that's that done. Uh, I did have to add another, around the back, another pump to get the water stream here. Just That's the fine. Mm, ah, stop. That's pretty, pretty simple to do. Right, so sugarcane will come in here. Let's just test it with this one, if I can. Ah, oh, no. Doesn't work, what? Charlie. Because it's night time. No, because the way the block dispensers work with sugarcane. Oh, do they not pick it up? No, they place it back in back in place. We're going to have to use pistons for this one. Okay, that sucks. I'm going to have to redo that then. Clever girl. I didn't think about block dispensers being able to place the, the sugarcane back down. Mm -hmm. Oh well, that's a fail. Uh, I'll s sort that out later. Mm -hmm. no anyway, let's tell right what are we doing. All oh, right, so yeah, viewers, I went into creative and I was trying to get light to come out of the uh, the and steel is. beacons. Yes. And I did manage to get one just by spamming beacons all over the place. Um, but the the one that had blight come out of it was buried in the ground like this so the grass was like on this level so I think maybe I should put the beacon in the ground okay I got a block dispenser to pick it up here you do that I will go to sleep right now 
that. Ooh. I mean, I think it can spread from it anyway. Ooh. Jeez, that's loud. I think it can spread from it the way I had it set up before, but because I know for certain that it can spread what do you need to when make it's buried, I'm going to bury it. Uh, you need flour, milk, eggs, and sugar. How much milk? I think it's two. It's either two or three milk. Okay, do you need raw eggs? Two, two milk. One. It's one egg. It might be a raw egg. It might not be. I don't know. Let's come click this. Right, good. I think that would be that would be better. Some, something I did notice though. When I put the gr when I put the dirt on top of this uh, beacon the way it was before, I had left the server running, and the grass hadn't spread to it, which is yep. kind of strange. So it might have just been that I didn't leave it as long as I thought it had, but I feel like maybe the uh, the grass wasn't able to spread, even though this is the spawn trunk. I mean, this should be loaded. Maybe it's not. Anyway, what we're doing today, Charlie, is because I'm using so much, um, so much solar and stuff for the gravel. I mean, not gravel for the cement in the Nether Hub. Uh, yes. I've decided to try and figure out how to set up a a soul bottling machine. So we have a couple. Of, we have a new block to check out and try and learn how to use before we can do that. So oh, what's that block? We're gonna make a buddy block. The, the hell's that? Well, let's have a look at it. Hang on. Do we have any sugar anywhere? Oh, uh, sugar. You need to get some sugar cane out of the farm. You have grind, no. grind it up. Right. I think it goes like that. So how? What does oh, I only got enough for one buddy block. What does a buddy block do? Uh, you'll see in a sec. Is it your friend? I got it. I made more torches than I needed. Oh well. Come and have a look, Charlie. Okay. Uh, put that there. So, I don't know where we're going to set up the soul bottling. Oh, look out! Why do they always appear out of freaking nowhere? Check this out, Johnny. So this is a buddy block. Now, the buddy block detects any block updates next to it. Right? Hang on. That's weird. It doesn't detect when I break, break it. It should detect when I break it. Let me check with the wood. Hang on. Oh, it doesn't detect redstone being moved. Yeah. That's weird. But anyway, yeah. This detects block updates and then sends out a redstone signal from this this face here. Oh. So so what we're gonna do, we'll set up a a hopper, right? Mm -hmm. And then we'll have a block dispenser place the urns like that. Then the uh, the body block will detect when the urn turns into a soul urn. Right? We put the stuff in the thing. Keep explaining. Um, so the urn turns into a soul urn. The body block detects it, and then has it the uh, the block dispenser dispense another one. Oh, yes. Right. Yes. So we need to figure out how to do that and how to lay it out and make it look nice. Okay, hang on. I need to go to the bathroom real quick. Uh, okay, I need to go get a hopper. I think. Okay. I don't know where we're going to set this up. I suppose we could do it here. This is where we have our current solar solar and hopper set up. I guess I could uh, I could take that power. Let me just think what I'm going to need.
Actually, let's just make another hopper real quick. Loop, 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 loop. Okay, so here's the way it's going to need to go. Someone's knocking on my floor. It's not good. So we need a hopper up the top for putting the um, the ground leather rack into. We need a block dispenser to place the urns. We need a hopper at the bottom to pick up the urns once they get turned. We need a buddy block set up to detect the uh, the urns breaking. And we we'll probably need a turntable to trigger a dispenser so that it dispenses eight uh, dispenses the uh, the ground netherrack. So that I think that'll be it. We just need a simple design that we can just leave running. It doesn't need to be like complicated and have loads of stuff, like loads of features. We just need a, a collection point that we can reach easily. So this hopper needs to be powered by mechanical power and the turntable will need to be powered by mechanical power. I'm going to need a dispenser. Okay, dispenser, turntable and axles and gearboxes. Yep, let me get the rest of this stuff. Hey! Mackie my bitch Got some markets Gonna get some sugar to make a cake with smack. Right. Uh, I've just realised I need to test something. I need to make certain the block dispenser can dispense an urn. There. It can. Okay, good. Will it pick up the urn there? Uh, oh, well, yeah, well, we won't. We need to get the redstone figured out. But okay, so for right now we need to have another hopper here. This is the one we dispense the uh, the soul powder into. Mm -hmm. So that has the soul sand. Uh, we need a dispenser set up. Now the dispenser needs to be within easy reach. So I'm thinking on the side here maybe like that. So we can reach the dispenser and the hopper, the collection point hopper as well. How do I make a cake? I think it's three sugar on the top. I see. Flour along the bottom. I see. Uh, milk on either side and an egg in the middle. I don't know if it needs to be a raw egg or a... It's a raw egg! egg. Okay, good. Okay, now let's power this motherfucker. We need a turntable clock running to uh, to power the uh, dispenser to dispense the um, the ground nether rack, and we also need to power this hopper so that the uh, the souls get filtered out, right? Yes. So, what's the easiest way of powering both those things? I do not know. Because we don't want to use too many gearboxes. We're down to 35 gold nuggets, I think. I think that's all our gold. I did just spend 12 on two two lenses, so... So if we just have it that... And then... Have the one gearbox there... And then have the turntable up top. Maybe I can power the dispenser from there. Smack a big hole. If I have it there, can I do that? And power the dispenser like that? I can. Okay, excellent. So we just need the one Very gearbox easy. right there. Okay. And a way to power that from somewhere. I don't know where to place it yet. Um, so the dispenser will dispense on a timer. And then we need to figure out how to get the uh, the body block 
to make this dispense. Hmm. So we don't want the dispenser being triggered all the time, do we? Because we, we need it to leave the urn placed until mm -hmm. it's ready for another one to be placed. Mm -hmm. Right, so we need it to be powered at all times. And then when the urn gets transformed, it goes unpowered and then powered again to so place, we need another place a new dispenser one. To dispense a torch. Yeah, basically. That's why I got this other one. So, when the bloody block triggers the first time, ah, oh, that's not good. Why is that happening? What? Okay, how about if I put it there? Put it there. Uh, that's probably why the redstone doesn't update the bloody block, so that it doesn't get updated when when the redstone goes off. Oh, when it gets powered, I see. Or does it go off when it's powered? Uh, it might do. No. So you, the bloody block doesn't trigger itself by powering the redstone. I see. It right, but when, when this updates now, this will dispense a dirt block. And then okay. the second time it updates it will dispense a redstone torch. Is well, that just right? no, I am do that again. Hang on a sec. Practice it, practice it. Okay, put a button there. I don't know. That's not exactly what we want. <laughs> Why is it place a torch? What we want... <sighs> I don't know how to make it start, basically. That's what I'm trying to figure out right now. We need it to start when we place a, an urn in there. We need it to place it and leave it and then when the urn gets broken it needs to right there places it and leaves it and then when the urn gets broken yeah we need it to send out a resident signal to here This is so confusing. I'm gonna go kill some shit. To the nether! Let me make some more room here. Let's see if that works now. How does this work? Breaks it. Let me just reverse these. Where did my urn go? There it is. I think it's working. Yay! So every time the uh, the urn breaks, it dispenses another one. It's a bit loud though, ain't it? Shall we change that to a uh, stone block? Is there any way to make this more compact as well? Also, okay. when this runs out of urns, we need it to be able to dispense a new one. There we go. Okay. Figured it out, Charlie. So we put our ends in there. We hit the button to get it started. And then we put the uh, the ground netherrack in the dispenser. 
So now we just need the uh, the mechanical power set up and some glass at the front here to make the urns go into the hoppers. Yes. Or you might be able to use sidings or something. But yeah, that's that's it. That's an auto bottler. Okay, where are we going to put it? It needs to be somewhere with mechanical power. Mm -hmm. I'd prefer it if it's already had mechanical power at the right height. So that we don't have to worry about wasting um, gearboxes. I guess we could stick it on the other side of... I'm going to redesign this um, wood chopping machine at some point, so I guess I'll put it here for now. Oh, yeah. And then when I redesign it, I might be able to uh, to make it more compact. Okay, one sec guys, let me relocate this and then we'll turn it on and see if it works properly. Okay viewers, we're ready for our first test run of the new machine. A new confangled machine, really, Charlie. So, what you do, you put your urns in the block dispenser. And you can shake it all up. You hit the button. Right, and then you put your ground netherrack in the uh, dispenser. And then you turn on the water wheel. So, will it work? So if watch carefully. The one dispenser is one at a time. It's gonna be ages. Oh yeah, it's gonna be hella slow. I'm sure there's ways of speeding it up, but we don't need it to be super fast, do we? Just keep watching. It's not powered. Why is it not powered? Souls. Sand. Oh, fuck it. I've missed out the soul sand. Hang on. You missed your battle part. It's okay. Go. Ah, uh, I forgot about the hellfire, Charlie. We need to pick that stuff up. How are we going to pick that up? I don't know. Right, if I put a hopper right there. Look. Oh, no, that's not the right place. If I put a rocker hopper right there, then we just need a bucket. No, that sometimes picks up the freaking ground netherrack, which is no good. And we're out of urns. And then the urns will end up in there. Good. Okay, so we have two problems. Or well, one major problem. How do we pick up the hellfire dust? Let me think about it for a second. Have you got any food, Charlie? No. I will, I will have some food, please. I have none. Just one, please. Just one little bit of food, please. Thank you. Hmm. Right, viewers, I had, I added a piston, and I'm not certain, but it seems to be working quite well. I don't... You didn't get soul sand again? Or? Yeah, I'll just put the soul sand back in. Okay. Activate the machine! Let's, um... Put our eight urns in. So this is test number two, and we'll see if it works this time. Soul sands in place. The secondary hopper for the hellfire there, and I'm hoping it's going to work. Nothing's happening. Oh, it's pushing it in. It works. Is it working properly, though? Yep. We have an auto bottler. Right, hang on a sec, let me just add some more glass here. Maybe a glass roof wouldn't hurt. Well, this is interesting. Uh oh, I have no idea what I just did. Okay. 
Well, it seems to be working. We'll see if it works reliably. Let's leave it running for a while, Charlie. Yes. It certainly seems to be working. Ha ha ha. Look at that. Hey, viewers. Uh, uh, check out what Charlie's done. He's finished the uh, the bottom level. Well, shit, ghast. He got it down pretty far. I managed to finish the last tiny little bit. And so we're down. Oh, hello, Mr. Flying Charlie. <laughs> God damn that glitch, man. Someone needs to fix that. In fact, maybe I'll tell Flower Child how to fix it because I've already seen a video on how to fix it. I'll, link, I'll, I'll link Flower Child that video. What, what, what video? Um, this guy figured out how to fix the portal glitch. What glitch? You know how when you come through the nether portal and it bugs out and it thinks you're somewhere where you're not. Oh yeah. Yeah, this guy's figured out how to how to fix it. So maybe Flower Child could implement that fix for us. Cool. I wonder if I can get Flower Child on, on the IRC or something. I'll see. Anyway, viewers, yeah, we're just building a platform all the way across the lava here. Yay! And I think once we've done it, we're going to have to slab it. And then we can start building the spawning platforms, pretty much. You slab. It's going to take us a long time to do that, though. So I think we'll just finish this floor and then call it quits for today. Can I catapult myself into the lava? Uh, yeah. Okay, I have to go all the way down. Yeah, you got fire resistance everywhere around here, so... Yeah. Feel free. Just make certain the fire resistance is active before you jump. We need to kill that pigman in the middle, but be careful because we don't want other pigmen attacking us. <laughs> yeah, we got to tidy up these walls a bit, I think, before we can move the spawning platforms. Okay, viewers, just want to show you a couple of things real quick. Um, the soul bottling machine is working fine. Um, it's not broken so far. How many did I do? Well, it's been cleared out, but yeah, we've done several several stacks of ground netherrack in this thing, and every single one's gone in just fine. So I think that's working. Um, I've changed the sugarcane farm. Let's go have a look at that. I switched it out. I switched out the uh, the block dispensers for pistons, and now that's working. So, if I just grab a uh, sugarcane right here, you see it work. So the sugarcane grows, bloop, gets pushed off. There we go. And it gets picked up. So that's good. Now that is a stair, right? Yes, it is. And then so let me just show you the redstone real quick. It's quite simple redstone. I just need to get up there to show you. Right, so obviously the redstone for the pistons runs there. Oh, I'm missing a missing a stone brick block right there. But this is the detector block. Uh, Right, on, on the side of the detector block right here, you can't see, there's a redstone torch. And that's powering this block here. Or rather, it would power this block here when the detector block gets turned off. Uh, the torch comes on, powers this. Um, so this is just a simple monostable right here. And this will pulse with a two repeater delay to pulse the pistons out. The reason I use two repeaters is so that the uh, the pulse was long enough that the pistons won't leave the block behind. 
and also to give the uh, sugarcane a chance to get pushed out of the way properly. There's actually a bit of redstone dust right there, which is what's powering this this torch here from the from the repeater. Right, here we go. That's that. I'm missing a block, but that's fine. So that's working pretty good as well. If a little bit a little bit slow for the sugar cane to grow. We kind of need to get a bigger one, I guess. Oh, actually, it's not been loaded. That's why we've been in the nether. Wondering why it's going so slowly. Anyway, next episode, I've got to make an auto auto turntable so that we can pump out urns and also make a start on the uh, zombie pigmen spawning platforms which we are saving up for yeah look, we've got some vine traps there just need to take some cobblestone to the uh, to the farm let's go see what Charlie's doing And I'm configuring a quick way to place a uh, cobblestone. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Okay. Do 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 do. Dum dum do do do. Hey, hey, check out. Check it out. We have a uh, we have a floor. If we get some glass in here, we can put the glass in the floor and that will uh, let the light through and we won't have to put torches down. So I might go get some glass later. Should yeah. we end it here? Yeah, anyway guys, we're going to have to end the episode now. And when we come back, this should all be done. Well, when we come back, I'm going to hopefully be able to make a start on the... Uh, the spawning platforms. Basically, we're just going to have spawning platforms in the middle there. The zombie pigmen will drop off and fall down here. But yeah. Um, we're not going to have like a collection point or anything. We're just going to have it so that the drops end up on the floor and we have to walk through to pick them up. Uh, later on, when we do a, the proper zombie pigman farm will have a a proper collection point but not until we get the nether growth I can't be bothered to do that until we get the nether growth Charlie's gone okay guys we'll end the episode there because Charlie's internet's gone poo poo okay bye